In today's video, we're diving into everything you need to know about OBD2 Trouble Code P000D. First things first, let's break down what the P000D code actually is. This code gets triggered when the engine control module detects that the camshaft isn't properly aligned with the crankshaft. Specifically, the P000D code points to an issue with the exhaust camshaft sensor on Bank 2. Now let's break down what the Bank 2 exhaust camshaft actually is. In engines with multiple cylinder banks like V6 or V8 engines, you'll have two sides or banks of cylinders. Bank 1 typically refers to the side of the engine where cylinder 1 is located, and Bank 2 is on the opposite side. For engines with dual overhead camshafts, DOHC, each bank has two camshafts, one for intake valves and one for exhaust valves. So, when we talk about the Bank 2 exhaust camshaft, we're referring to the camshaft that controls the exhaust valves on the opposite side of the engine where cylinder 1 is located. If you want to read more about any other OBD2 codes, you can visit our website obdcode.org for a full list of codes and their meanings. Now let's learn why P000D was triggered. Your vehicle's camshaft sensor has a critical job. It measures the camshaft's position and sends that data to the engine control unit, ECU. The ECU then uses this data to control essential timing functions like fuel injection, spark plug ignition, and variable valve timing, all of which are vital for efficient engine performance. The camshaft is rotated by the crankshaft through a timing belt or chain, so both the camshaft and crankshaft need to stay in perfect sync for the engine to run smoothly. The ECU regularly monitors the position of both the crankshaft and camshaft sensors. If it detects that the camshaft sensor for the bank to exhaust camshaft is out of alignment with the crankshaft, it triggers the P000D code to alert you of the issue. Now, where exactly is the P000D sensor located? The camshaft position sensor, responsible for triggering the P000D code, is usually positioned close to the camshaft. Its exact location can vary depending on your vehicle's make and model. Now that we understand what P000D means and where the sensor is located, let's cover how to reset it. Sometimes error codes like P000D appear due to recent maintenance or temporary glitches, and they may clear up after an OBD2 reset. To do this, you'll need an OBD2 scanner. Check out the link in the description for the best scanners out there. Simply connect the scanner to your vehicle, follow the instructions to clear the trouble codes, and see if the P000D code reappears. If the P000D code reappears, it's time to look into some common root causes of P000D. Let's discuss some common root causes of the P000D error code. The first cause is erratic camshaft position due to low oil pressure. Your camshaft's timing depends heavily on proper oil pressure. If the pressure is low, it can disrupt the camshaft's alignment, leading to the P000D code. The next cause is oil flow restrictions in passages or VCT valve body. Oil flow issues in the VCT valve body or passages can also interfere with camshaft timing, leading to the code. These restrictions could be due to sludge buildup or blockages in the oil lines. The third cause is binding in the camshaft advance mechanism. If the VCT unit is binding, it may prevent the camshaft from advancing or retarding as it should which could trigger the P000D code. The fourth cause is damage to the VCT phaser. A damaged VCT phaser can result in improper camshaft timing. The phaser controls the angle of the camshaft, and if it's malfunctioning, you'll likely see error codes like P000B. The final cause is radio frequency interference affecting sensor signals. Sometimes external interference can affect sensor signals. If radio frequency interference disrupts the camshaft sensor's readings, it can cause the ECU to register a camshaft misalignment. 